my hospital bag. Um, I cannot believe like we are getting ready to <laughs> meet the girls. This is crazy. Um, but I'm 35 weeks today. The gals are about five pounds each plus the sack. So a lot of baby in there. Um, for twins, the average time to deliver is about 36 weeks just because there's not as much room for two babies in there. Um, so any day now, I want to be prepared. I have everything laid out here for mom, for the girls, and then I have a list for Dave too that he's packing. But um, have my next OB appointment tomorrow where we are going to schedule a date to be induced um just in case they don't come naturally but i hope my body just lets me know when it's ready um but yeah let's get to it this is like feels so surreal okay let me first i need the suitcase i'm gonna do everything in a carry-on suitcase um i'm trying for vaginal delivery because they're both head down but with twins you never know if it's going to end up being a c-section i mean i guess any birth there's complications and risks that could happen but i don't want to overpack but i want to bring enough stuff that i am prepared and um ready to go so using the suitcase Miss Capita, maverick you want to be in this are you going to sit right in the middle he's gonna have some issues not being the only child i already know it no he'll love them um okay so gonna use just this cow pack carry-on suitcase and I also have my packing cube so I'll kind of show you how I have everything laid out here okay so I'm in the nursery and I have everything laid out that I want to pack um, most of this stuff is for me like for mom and then this stuff is for the girls I'm debating bringing the nursing pillow or not I've heard kind of like mixed suggestions on that um, but let's get going can you tell I really am into checkered lately? <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like I I did a lot of research and watch based and by research I mean my TikTok algorithm is literally just all um, what you should put in your hospital bag. I also read some articles, but mainly it's just social media. Um, so I just narrowed down what I think I'll need, whether it's going to be just in case I end up doing a C-section or vaginal staying in longer or just like the average like three days that you're in the hospital. So we just don't really know what's gonna happen. So I'm just trying to be prepared for all of the above. Um, but let's pack her up. Oh, all right. So I'm doing this based off a list on my phone that I have been keeping and organizing. Um, let's pull her up. And I think I'm going to have with the packing cubes. The reason I wanted these is because I hear that there's some things that you use like right away for birth and then things that you won't use right away. So I want to kind of organize it by like timeline. And then the other thing that I'm not going to be packing right now is snacks. I hear you do want to bring snacks. Um, so we're going to get that together. Um, Dave and I are going to figure out. You guys, I guess it's saying how like talking, I get so out of breath. Um, so Dave and I will pack our own snacks as well. And then I think for the nurses and doctors to help, I'm gonna bring some stuff for them just as like a little thank you, including J Beauty dry shampoo. Multiple people recommended I bring flip flops for the shower. So shower shoes, check. Cozy slippers for around the hospital. I just got these off Amazon. I'll also try and link everything that I can in the description of this video. Um, so slippers, flip flops, and then cozy socks as well. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, next up is um, this is like a whole set from Freedom Mom, and I'm not bringing everything in it but a lot of people recommended that I bring like oh, that was my alarm to record this video <laughs> ahead of schedule baby um, okay so a lot of people recommended ah, that I bring my own spray 
and then want to bring some extra like diapers and pads i know the hospital gives you ones but a lot of people are saying they're not that great so let's see what we got here wait so in this kit there's the underwear maxi pads liners foam and toilet caddy so obviously don't need the toilet caddy okay these are boy short briefs so i think these are underwear so going to pack the underwear And these are ice maxi pads okay so these are like for the badge i feel like i'll pack this is just one this is so much okay cleanse with upside down bottle wear okay these are supposed to be chilled though i feel like i'd be able to chill them in the hospital okay i'll bring i'll pack one for now and see if i should bring more than one um and then the foam and liners okay so that's all stuff if all goes well and i do a vaginal delivery all all my vag prep for afterwards fuck okay everybody's like you're gonna be bleeding for a long time all right it's like crazy to just like mentally prepare for this okay um and then along with that for mom recovery where is it are these little silverettes like nipple covers and nipple balm so these people are obsessed with and these were gifted to me um so is that that was gifted to me from my friend jen and then these were gifted by ashley and amanda who run rosie times too and they're just these little like tin nipple things that you um put on with your balm or whatever and helps with cracked nipples so definitely bringing those as well going to try and breastfeed we'll see how it goes um with twins i'm curious how my body will even create enough supply for that so i'm trying to be open-minded if i need to like start subsidizing earlier rather than later with sorry i'm getting so overheated where's my with um formula but i'm gonna try to breastfeed so we'll see which is also why i'm debating bringing that breastfeeding pillow okay nipple cups and then this one i'm debating bringing so belly binder these are more if you have a c-section or if you have intense abdominal pain through my prenatal course i realized that the research on this actually helping with diastasis recti or just getting a snatched waist and reducing um, the size of you know your belly and stuff afterwards isn't actually proven even though a lot of things online aka social media will say they are so debating bringing this just so that i can feel like a little tighter there and if i do have intense abdominal pain or if i do have to get a c-section this will help with that abdominal and pelvis support um so debating bringing this one and this one does have good reviews some people swear by it but like i said the research is kind of mixed on it so going to be bringing that as well okay um fan I feel like i could use this right now like why am i overheating you guys this is what being pregnant does to you i'm like literally sweating this feels amazing this is also amazon this one that can attach to the stroller after that's why it has these little like octopus legs just give me a sec do you believe in love after love after love after love um fan check take home outfit so i am packing this little set this cozy set it's kind of like a lounge wear step up from pajamas set i know it's risky with the light color since i'm gonna be bleeding out the vag like a motherfucker but um we're just doing it i'm just gonna be wearing the 
underwear underneath but super cozy all of this stuff i made sure to wash before too so that there's no just like i just try to be extra careful for the girls first time mom you know um okay so i will pack that just something really comfy and cozy and then light robe so i actually have two robes and depending on how much room i'm going to bring them this one is like cozy vibes but it's still thin because i hear you don't want like a crazy thick one in the hospital and this one's barefoot dreams so like mm, like so cozy love and then my other one is i feel like you guys have seen me wear this a million times just on amazon it's like an amazon robe and it's a really good just thin one so i feel like this will be nice like throughout the day if i'm just wearing like my diaper nursing bra and this so tbd i feel like i'll pack this one over that one just because it seems a little bit more practical but those are my two robe options um hi miss sir i wish i could pack maverick do you wish you could come to the hospital buddy i wish you could come Okay, robe check, nursing pillow, TBD. The blanket, the blanket I'm bringing is this one from Amazon and Dave has a matching one as well. Um, his is a bit bigger, but um, I hear you want your own like cozy blanket and this one's pretty lightweight too. So um, I'm excited for that one. These are like my favorite, favorite, favorite blankets. Um, they're just off Amazon, way better than the expensive pot pottery barn ones that we have. And I've washed them like a million times and they still really hold up well. So like 10 out of 10 recommend they come in a bunch of different colors. Um, okay. So hair stuff, I'm going to pack in this little cute little Stony Clover bag. Joe got this for me for my birthday. Isn't that cute? Um, and I basically just got a mini set of the Whey shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, J Beauty dry shampoo, of course, and then where? And then just my hairbrush. So that's it for like basic hair stuff. And then I'm also going to be bringing um, cleansing wipes because I hear those are really useful especially when you're lazy and then um hair tie for labor after all that jazz um i'm also going to be packing light makeup and like skincare stuff but i already have that just in bags already so i'll just throw that in when i'm heading out the door since i'm still kind of using that for now um then i am going to be bringing my kindle i downloaded like three books already just in case um so that I have these to read. I really don't know how much like downtime I'll have. I don't know why I'm like prepping to read, but um, I got it ready and I feel like reading just calms me. So if I do have a chance, I'll be able to do that, especially if it's just books that are just like kind of page turners. I asked you guys for a lot of suggestions on books and you guys gave me really good recs. So I'll leave those in the description. I'll leave those in the description as well. Um, but Kindle to entertain myself, and I think Dave wants to bring the Apple TV so that <laughs> he can watch shows on that too, so, or like, we'll see. Um, a lot of people recommended bringing their own pillow. Um, I'm not too picky about pillows, if I'm being honest, but I do get the um, sense that the pillowcases are like really scratchy, so I'm gonna bring my own pillowcase, which is just one of those like silk pillowcases from kitsch um and also this way maybe like my hair will stay cuter not that like being cute is top priority in the hospital but like you know little little things go a long way um okay nursing bra bringing these two from amazon once again i'll link these in the description haven't used them yet so i don't have like a full review on them but they seem pretty straightforward had a lot of reviews um lighter colored one and a darker colored one so we should be good to go on that Cozy PJs. So I have PJs here as well. I honestly might wear this nightgown that I'm wearing now, which is my mom's that I stole from her like two years ago, and I'm pretty sure it's just like a Target, a Target nightgown, but it's just so comfy cozy. So I might bring that instead. But for now, these PJs I will pack unless I change my mind. Um, Mister, 
Um, let's see what else. And then extra long phone charger. Everybody says to bring like at least like a 10 foot one. So going to bring that um, along with headphones. And then my Stanley, of course, bring that everywhere. J Beauty, duh. Um, so that's it for mom. The other options are, um, I might bring my Polaroid camera, actually, the one that I've been taking bump pictures with, so I might bring that for the girls. And I do think I'll bring my tripod, too, just so, like, um, maybe we could, like, record some moments, but we'll see. Um, another one is breast pump. Some people recommend bringing that, so TBD if I'll do that. Um, and then later, we'll do snacks and possibly a speaker for music. Okay, for Dave, literally all he's bringing is that big, big ass blanket um, and a pillow. And then he has a blow up mattress. We have to ask if he can bring that, but a lot of people recommended bringing that. Okay, so for the gals, nursing pillow is TBD, but ooh, sorry, it's so hard to move these days. Nursing pillow is TBD, but this is the twin Z pillow and we might bring it. So we'll see, but a lot of twin moms have recommended this one. Um, other things for the gals, I got them blankets, their first blankies. These are barefoot dreams and matching, um, they say like alphabet letters on it. One pink, one like more of like a taupey tan. And then same thing with their first loveys that I got them are one's pink and one's like a tan taupey one. So I just thought these were cute. It's the year of the rabbit, if anybody was wondering. Um, so like extra fitting for 2023, but these are gonna be their first little things that they grab onto. I'm like, I can't think about it. It's gonna make me cry. I'm like just so excited. Oh, I just, okay. I just can't believe this is happening. It's just crazy. Like it's wild how like the days feel so long and then it just goes by in a flash. And like, I can't imagine once the girls are actually here how, fast it's going to really go by <sighs> um okay also bringing a portable sound machine um hopefully this can help them sleep a little bit or us <laughs> if we need it since hospitals have a lot of sounds um and then <laughs> diapers i'm going to bring some extra diapers for them passies um, swaddles, I have the Ollie swaddle and a couple others, so deciding which ones of those to bring. And then I have their little going home outfits that I will pack as well. Um, I don't know if they'll fit, because I feel like they're going to be like kind of preemie, so I might try and last minute order some other ones, but TBD on that. And I think that's it, which feels crazy. Um, I haven't organized it in the bag yet, but it was kind of nice to like verbally walk through all of this with you guys to just make sure I don't have anything, but I have it all on my checklist too that I'm going to be going through. Um, um, okay, but I just like can't believe it's here. Um, it feels really surreal. And I just can't wait to meet the girls. I'm so excited and, um. It's just crazy that like every day I wake up and I'm like, is today the day? Is today like the day that we get to meet them? Is today the day we get to hold them? And um, I'm excited. I'm also terrified for birth and to be a mom, but like <laughs> excited outweighs that and gratitude outweighs that times a million. But like I am very scared and nervous. Um, just there's so many unknowns, even just the birth process in general. I've started eating my dates, started my raspberry tea, and I'm gonna start Epsom salt baths too after pregnancy. Um, but yeah, wish me luck. I can't wait for, um, I just can't wait. And I'm so happy that you guys have been on this journey with me. All of the love and support has been amazing. And um, yeah, family's growing any day now. Two new little ones coming. You're gonna be a brother. You ready, buds? But I hope this was helpful. I will live, list everything in the description as well. Um, and on social, I can make a checklist too. Um, and then I can like review it too after I give birth. Cause like I said, obviously I'm a first time mom, but I have been watching a ton of videos and reading different things of suggestions of what to bring and talking to other mom friends who have given birth. So 
trying to pack enough that I don't feel like I'm missing something but I also don't want to like have way too much shit that it's just like overwhelming for myself and for the nurses you know it's just like unnecessary um, and also we are lucky that we live fairly close to the hospital so we can run back and get stuff my mom's gonna be here on Thursday so um, Hopefully she'll be here when they're here, so we'll have just an extra pair of hands as well. Um, but I know Dave will be ready to help and all of that, but hope this was helpful. I will link everything and write out that list for you guys, and I love you. I'm so excited, and I'm going to cry again if I keep talking about it because it's just like the craziest, most surreal thing in the world. Okay, love you guys.